Sometimes we just skip spring and we just head right over to summer. And you know what? This weekend it will certainly feel like summer as highs will be even hotter, believe it or not. But you know what? It makes for great beach days. You can see these folks taking advantage of that bright sunshine as we look from our wind jammers or camera Lauderdale by the sea. Aren't we lucky that we don't have to deal with all that wintry weather, the snow, the ice, the freezing rain, and the brutally cold temperatures right now? Here's a view from Rusty Pelican, Key Biscayne right now. Looking lovely, a radar satellite showing that we are quiet and dry, but check out the West Coast right now. And also even the Everglades, the interior sections dealing with a couple of showers. Although our rain chance is low today, we do have the chance for a few showers because of that onshore breeze. Temperatures are warm in the low 80s in Broward Dade and down through the Keys. And right now, as we take a look at the wind flow, it is certainly moving more out of the Southeast and that's keeping us quite warm. But oh, temperatures continue to be extremely dangerously cold across the northern and central parts of the country. 10 below zero in Bismarck, five below Minneapolis, 13 below Billings. And by the way, the temperatures were very similar just a few hours ago, really haven't budged much. 20 in Denver, teens in Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, even the 20s as far south as Dallas and Memphis. And then add to that the fact that you're seeing that cold air clashing with the warmer moist air moving from the south. And that's leading to a major winter storm stretching from the southeast and then of course, through the mid-Atlantic, northeast, New England areas, dealing with snow there, mix of wintry weather along the Tennessee and Ohio River valleys, the Midwest dealing with some snow, and the West Coast is also dealing with a storm system, so it's pretty tranquil here in South Florida as compared to the rest of the U.S. For us today, 82 degrees. Again, there could be some stray showers, but the rain chance only at 20%. Hey, if you do head to the beach, you'll need your sunblock. The UV index is high with a moderate risk of rip current, so just be careful as we do have have that stronger breeze out of the southeast for boaters no advisories sees it about two to three and a light chop on the bays tonight lows will fall to around 70 degrees it'll be mild and we'll see the potential for patchy fog overnight as the winds lighten up and as we head into your friday tomorrow notice how we'll see more moisture around and even more so as we get into saturday and sunday for valentine's day so each and every day that rain chance will be on the rise and then as we get into monday we see a cold front that is going to slide down the state, but then once it gets here, it's going to stall out and keep the atmosphere moist and unstable. So we stay warm through the weekend as we head into Valentine's Day, some showers and storms, and even on President's Day on Monday, some scattered showers will be possible.